Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. It is Friday, uh, March 8th, 2024. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you had a great week. Uh, and I hope that everyone has a great weekend. So, um, I've got some wax to share with you. Uh, if you've been paying attention or listening, I just spit everywhere. Um, I've mentioned that I want to stock up on, like, my retail wax, uh, collection, meaning mainly Walmart, um, but I also include Scentsy in that as well. I, I just, so I have three, no, I have six bins or little containers that are, like, directly across from me. And I'm actually planning on replacing this area with the new dresser. And it doesn't even matter. I'm going to hopefully do that tomorrow. Um, but I'm kind of trying to figure out a new way to store my wax. I don't even know why I mentioned that. But, um, I mean, it is a wax video. But I have, let's see, I have three practically full containers uh, I think I showed you in my collective wax haul that are full of like retail Scentsy wax. And then I have three additional ones that I would also um, like to fill up. I know that might sound weird. Like, I just want to start accumulating more Walmart wax. I love Walmart wax. I just, this kind of sounds a little unfortunate, but it's true. I'll warm vendor wax, you know for a week or two or whatever. And then I put in uh, retail, like Walmart wax, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just so good. It's just so strong. And it lasts a long time when I compare it to my vendor wax. I love vendor wax, don't get me wrong, but I just have such great luck with Walmart wax. I really do. I mention that all the time. So anyway, long story short, I'm trying to get more so I want to share with you the ones that I picked up. So I'm going to, I actually picked up, um, this cat right here is making muffins. So I just want to mention that. Uh, but I got a mixture of Sensationals, Better Homes and Gardens, and then I also picked up five Yankee Candle Melts. Um, this was over the course of two different trips to Walmart, uh, one that I did yesterday. So let's get started. Uh, in no particular order. This one is Better Homes and Gardens, Soft Cashmere and Amber. This is Bergamot, Amber, Citrus, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Peppercorn, Cassis, and Moss. This has been around for years, like maybe at least 10 years. And I love it. It's it's a very <clears throat> it's a very sophisticated um, laundry scent definitely cashmere the amber I definitely get it's very pretty it's just kind of like a classy cozy um, slightly perfumey it's just really pretty I really really love this I've bought this scent countless times um, I'm dropping things but I'm gonna put that over there uh, really enjoy that one. And then another one that I love is Iced Lemon Sugar Cookies from Sensationals. It says a soft and chewy citrus treat. I love this too. It's, if you like lemon and you like lemon and bakery, especially, you would love this. It's just a really good, honestly, you know, these cookies, they sell them at Walmart. Um, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what that is. I mean, it to me smells identical to one of those that's lemon flavored, which those can, can uh, those cookies are delicious. Um, I love the scent. It's just amazing. Speaking of lemon, I've really been wanting to stock up on some lemon. I like lemon. I really didn't realize until like last year how much I love uh, or how much I love lemon. Um, and I love it in every form, whether it's fresh, clean, or bakery, love it. So this is Better Homes and Gardens Meyer or Mayer Lemon and Basil. I definitely have had this before. I just don't remember when. 
I mean, years ago, probably. Mayor lemon. Is it Meyer lemon? I don't know. Uh, lime, bergamot, basil, orange, and white pomelo. This is just a very fresh... I definitely get basil and lemon. Oh, it's so good. I love warming um, clean scents when I'm cleaning my house, uh, which is, I mean, every day practically, but there's days where I clean it way more than other days. And uh, like Sundays, I am always cleaning no matter what. That's when a scent like this is coming in because... It's so nice. It just smells so fresh and clean and yeah. I find those types of scents to be very relaxing. So this one is Better Homes and Gardens Frosted Pineapple Cupcakes. And this one I have had before. I had it, I think it was last year. This is so good. It's citrus, orange, pineapple, sugar cane, vanilla, buttercream, and cupcake. Love it. It is so good. It reminds me of a Bath and Body Works candle. I don't remember the name of it. It was pineapple, was it pineapple upside down cake maybe? Oh, it's so good. It is so good. It's a really, like this is a very well done bakery scent when it comes to retail. Um, because I don't know, I don't love bakery and retail wax a lot of the time. Not a lot, but. This is a really, really good one. Oh, it's so good. Um, if you have, if you see this at your Walmart, I highly recommend it. It's really, really nice. And then the next one we have is Better Homes and Gardens. This one is Warm Leather and Amber. It's so weird how your scent preferences change because I'm really getting into the whole like antique woodsy, well, I've always liked woodsy, but like kind of old or like leathery kind of scents. This one is Amber, Oud, Vanilla Bean, Mahogany, Incense, and Cacao. I'm sure I've had this before, but it's been a long time. Um, I definitely get the Mahogany, like a lot. I feel like I remember, excuse me, smelling more um, leather at the store. I think I do get a little bit. To me, this is mainly mahogany, like, cologne -y. But it smells good. I like it. I have a feeling that the leather might come out more warming. I will let you know. But, um, I like that one. Uh, Vanilla <laughs> Cookie Crunch from Better Homes and Gardens. You guys, this has been around for so long. It's shortbread cookie, buttercream, and vanilla. It's just a basic sugar cookie buttercream like frosting cookie definitely vanilla this scent like just takes me back to when i got into wax which walmart wax is how i got into wax and i used to buy this all the time i would get it in like value packs i mean i would now too but it's just so good like it just <laughs> you warm it you're just you're happy with it Okay, this, I literally, f did I finish this yesterday? I don't know. You'll see it in an empties, but um, I finished this bar or this clam, but um, I bought another one. So this is Better Homes and Gardens Red Mango and Nectarine. This one is Guava, Lime, Mandarin, Mango, and Tangerine. This is so nice. It's a bright, citrusy, fruity <sighs> nectarine scent. It's fantastic this lasted in my warmers for two days it's happy it's summery <laughs> it's funny um i we've had like this i don't know i feel like the end of winter is always weird it's like freezing and then in like two hours it's like let's go to the pool um but this i warmed earlier this week and it was a nice warm day it was really good Today, it's cold and raining. It's weird. Okay, the last one from what, like, uh, Sensationals, Better Homes and Gardens, I think. This one is Enchanted. 
And this one says blackberry and patchouli. I've had this. Part of the floral family. I can see why. Um, it's definitely a sweetened up woodsy floral. Yeah, that's what it is to me. It's so nice though. It's clean, it's fresh, it's got some like deep notes in it though. Yeah, it's really good. Um, you just can't go wrong with scents like this. And I've, this has been around for a long time, too. So that's it for Sensationals, Better Homes and Gardens. I'm going to start with the Yankees. I want to talk to you about something. I have this warming right now. This is from Yankee Candle. Sweet Vanilla Horchata. I saw this, and I was like, uh, yeah, I need to get this. So I think the little, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, I think that it means that it's a part of the spice because that looks like a cinnamon stick. I wouldn't consider this to be a spicy scent at all. Um, I smelled it. I was like, this is so good. And it reminded me of something. So I get home. I put these away. And I'm like, wait. I was like, wait a minute. I know what this smells like. So I go in my collection and I take this out. Teddy B's Mom Life, which is creamy oat milk, frothy vanilla cold foam, and a hint of sensual vanilla. So these smell so similar to me, so similar. I mean, like, I don't know if I can really tell a big difference. I think they're slightly different. Okay, so I did, um, I have three cubes. You guys can't really tell because the wax is white. But I put one cube, um, in my Julianne home warmer. I think I have the settings on medium or high, I don't know. And then I put one cube in my, um, I could actually show you my little setup. Well, maybe not. It's, I mean, it's really not that serious, but you guys can probably see. I have it in that warmer right there. Um, and my tea light. And then I put one cube in my bathroom. And where the hell did I put it? <laughs> you guys, it disappeared. Oh, here it is. <laughs> wow. Um. They are so similar. It's crazy. I love this. I think the sensual part of this mom life from Teddy B's isn't as, isn't, it's stronger in here, but I still get that sensual kind of slightly perfumey-ish vanilla. That's a bad description, but. And, okay, so then I finished this because I thought, you know, I want to see how they are. So I finished this souffle in my open space. I'm going to show you that in my empties. But um, I come in in each room, and I really can't tell much of a difference, hardly at all. I mean, maybe just a slight difference. But um, I'm so happy to know that I can get this scent because you guys know how hard it is to get your hands on Teddy B scent sometimes. And... Um, you know, things coming back and things not. But this was, like, one of my the highlights to, like, being a favorite of mine for the year. This is going to go in my favorites for the year. Um, but I'm so happy to know that I can get that scent, this scent, because it's really good. And it's, I feel like they're both throwing about the same. I mean, honestly. It's so good. I love this. Highly recommend that. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, you guys might think that I'm completely nuts and that I they don't smell similar at all, but it's just like a creamy, like sensual, nutty-ish, creamy, 
frothy vanilla scent. I don't know. It's so pretty, though. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, this is White Strawberry Bellini, so I watched someone that has talked about how good this is, and I've had this, but it's been years. I thought I would get it, and it is good. It it does smell, it's, it's like a lemony, strawberry, like, cold beverage. It smells really good. Love that. Really excited to try that. And then I also picked up Sicilian Lemon, again with the lemon. Love lemon. And this is delicious. Oh, it's so good. It's like a zesty, sweet, tart-ish lemon. Oh, yum. I mean, how do you not like a scent like this? You know, it's so good. So I look forward to that. Oh, you guys, this, it has been so long since I've had this. It just takes me back down memory lane. This is one of my all-time favorite scents from Yankee. Like, easily, hands down. Um, Seaside Woods. This is so, so good. I love this. It's been so long. Oh, it's so good. It's, like, to me, it reminds me of, like, a sandalwood vanilla. Vanilla sandalwood scent. But you get that kind of like dried out, beachy, woodsy scent. But there's vanilla in here to me. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Oh, so good. Highly recommend. And then the last one, I heard Lacey talking about this. And what's the fuss? And maybe someone else. This one is Desert Blooms. I knew I needed to get this. I mean, shit. Um, okay, so I think Lacey described this. I could be wrong, but I think she said it's kind of has like a, it's like a dehydrated or like dried out rose kind of scent. And it is. This is a really good name for it because it's, it is, it's, it's like very hot. It's like a hot day with that rose, I get rose. I think that's what that is. Oh, it's so pretty, I love this. Um, I might, I'll warm this and I might end up getting a candle of this. I mean, the candle's like 16 bucks, but I mean, whatever. Um, and that is at Walmart, but uh, I really like this. Like, th I feel like this picture is like a perfect description of like what you would smell. Um, it's so nice. These are hard to open. Yeah, it's really good, you guys. I look forward to warming this a lot. Like, a scent is, like that is, like, totally up my alley. But anyway, that's everything. I just wanted to share with you really quick what I got. Um, you'll probably see more of these <laughs> from me for a while. Uh, I, I don't know why I had it in my head that Rose Girls was doing a ready-to-ship, uh, today. Um of a pre-order, but I don't think she, well, I know she's not. So, and I had every intent on going in <laughs> on a ready to ship that doesn't even exist. I don't know why that was in my head, but, uh, I see that Lindsay with Traverse for TC Wax is doing a restock on Sunday. There's a really good chance I'm going to go in on that because I love her wax and but then I think, well, maybe I'll go in on a melt stash. Maybe I'll do two small separate orders. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, quick haul. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.